out here we are seeing this particular hand and uh, I'll just try to uh, go from question to question in this particular hand how will my career shape up in the future uh, left hand is not the active hand yet uh, but yet we basically see uh, what it indicates uh, on your particular hand uh, and uh, we'll take left as a passive hand, right as the active hand. Uh, this is the headline and this is the sunline. So whenever the headline is out here and the sunline is crossing, so this particular, this juncture is basically age 35. And you yourself are seeing that uh, the line, the sunline becomes, is becoming prominent as it is going further uh, this is the heart line this is the headline so you see this is age 35 and this is age 50 53 and beyond 53 the line becomes much better so this is basically indicating that your career is going to shape out shape out to be extremely good the first indication is that the second indication we see we are trying to see on your uh, uh, on your uh, right hand as well uh, in this particular hand what we what we find is that the sun line is a little bit different from uh, from uh, from the left hand the there's one sun line which is coming from the mount of moon out here and as it touches the headline age 35 it basically dims uh, like it vanishes kind of vanishes and then there's a small like kind of a line out here which is which is quite dim the other sun line is the second sun line is kind of targeting from inside the uh, from the venus area and kind of going and reaching like this and the third sun line is uh, starting somewhere in the middle between the heart and the head this particular area and it is kind of going like this and reaching out here so this starting point is approximately 44 and as it touches the uh, touches the heart line the age is 53 so we are finding that this particular line is extremely good uh, this fine perpendicular line is extremely good which is indicative of a very good career sometimes when we uh, when we find dim lines out here it doesn't matter uh, what needs to be there is that our, at this particular area on the Mount of Sun the line should be extremely prominent if the line is prominent it is sh show short indication of uh, success in one's life few people uh, uh, are disturbed that if their line is like getting cut they shouldn't be because uh, strong lines basically uh, provide strength uh, there could be uh, there could be few problems that might crop up, but it doesn't mean that all is going to be lost. Uh, and uh, I'm sure you would be successful. So uh, career prospects are, are good. Uh, we also find a V-like kind of a formation you, you are seeing out here, uh, and V-like formation on the on any mount, be it on the Mount of Mercury, be it out here, any mount. It is considered to be good. Why we consider it to be good? It is because uh, uh, it is said that if we wear fingers and uh, in the fingers we wear, uh, uh, if we if we wear like some stones, those rays are going to penetrate and go, are going to go inside your palm. So if there's a V-like formation, these rays positive rays are going to get trapped between this Y-like formation. So if they are trapped, it basically means they are trapped inside your hand. Inside your hand means they are getting trapped in your life. So positive energies get trapped and a Y-like formation is always good to see uh, on a palm. So one, one, uh, one aspect is this. The other aspect to see for career is, uh, uh, is to see if a person has any technical skills or communications skills or business skills uh, all these things is basically seen under the finger of uh, mercury this is the mount of mount of mercury and we see a extremely prop, uh, strong perpendicular line 
having a strong perpendicular line basically means that the person is likely to have a very strong uh, uh, like uh, he might have sharpened his skills this person might have sharpened his skills so he is going to be good at what uh, what he does uh, it doesn't matter if a person is doing service or business uh, if we find this perpendicular line if the person has got technical expertise uh, the person is likely to be more successful so we are just seeing basically signs on the hand of success uh, and uh, if we uh, if this mount is very very much important the mount of uh, mercury is very much important uh, one shouldn't have weak kind of lines or broken kind of lines or uh, some uh, wavy kind of lines. Wavy kind of lines or broken lines are not considered to be good, but this kind of a line, strong line is always good. You also have this uh, small mole out here. Uh, this, may, this basically enhances uh, the amount of uh, mercury, the indicative of technical skills, business skills, communication skills, all kind of skills as well as scientific uh, for doctors, for engineers, for businessmen, for orators, for communicators, uh, for uh, people in mathematics or any or teaching line. For all these people, this area is very important. So this area is strong in your hand. The other uh, area to see for success is if we see the heart line. If the heart line is starting under the amount of Saturn, Saturn is the amount of money. Saturn is basically materialism. It it would indicate that the person uh, knows how to basically manage money. So uh, uh, more the line is uh, tilted towards. Uh, if it's purely like like this, it would be much better. Like the person is better money manager. But even having the line somewhere between the first and the second finger. First finger is for Jupiter, and second finger is for Saturn. This basically means that. Uh, the person would be able to manage uh, them his money very well and would be responsible would be would have wisdom so all these things are basically needed for uh, uh, for success this heart line is also quite distinct and clear some people have kind of a, a chained kind of a line like uh, this kind of a line this is show short uh, indication of uh, failure but having a line like you have which is distinct and clear it is indicative of success it basically means that the person would be able to control his uh, stress in his life and would be would overcome stress in his life and uh, success will come to him uh, you see a small kind of a cross uh, over the amount of jupiter it is the uh, it is considered that having a cross only on jupiter is considered to be good it would mean uh, good association uh, getting married into a good family and uh, 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 it basically means uh, that the person would uh, would be uh, uh, li like his associations are going to be good so uh, associations uh, regarding marriage or maybe partner as well so both these indications are good uh, as far as uh, your headline goes headline is extremely strong and going right from one end to the other this makes a person very practical uh, it makes a person uh, but you, you might be uh, and you're very extremely headstrong uh, and uh, uh, but at the same time it has its weakness as well that uh, that you are lacking in imagination visualization uh, and uh, and you're just thinking about today and present but some people are visionaries and some people uh, visualize uh, like uh, the benefits which might come to them in the future uh, and uh, that is something you need to uh, cultivate a little bit uh, you shouldn't be too hard and fastened uh, on a particular thing uh, but uh, again one more one more thing i want to mention like this is the headline you see a small kind of a line which is going downward this uh, this particular area so this area uh, is basically around the age of 30 30 34 approximately because this crossing of this juncture is basically 35 so this area could be 34 approximately downward trend of the uh, small this downward trend in the early period is not considered to be good because uh, like uh, 
uh, it might give some uh, give some impracticality and some kind of uh, 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 some like uh, it could it could be the a time of uh, like adversity and it could be time where you might not uh, like make it good or and there would be uh, you would not be able to make decisions do, uh, during that time but after that the line becomes very strong and clear so there would be uh, uh, lots of clarity in your life so it's a good indication we also find that the this is the money line and a line kind of originates from the headline and kind of joins in to the uh, to the main money line so this is basically indicated that at this particular moment around around the age of 40 uh, some benefits are going to come to you due to your uh, thought process or uh, some education uh, higher education or something to do to with the, uh, to do with the mind and uh, it is uh, it is a beautiful indication and uh, we do find that the headline is also kind of going upwards uh, at this particular moment of time. So even this is, a, is considered to be a good indication uh, because uh, headline turning upwards make a person more technical oriented or uh, it is also a writer's, uh, a writer's line, uh, people who go into writing. Uh, so uh, this is a good indication. Uh, other uh, questions you have is that uh, uh, what does my hand predict about my marriage and love life? See, regarding this, we uh, I give more importance to uh, to the money line. If the money line, uh, if the money line and the heart line are good, uh, it would it would basically mean success in your marriage life because a lot depends upon your finances. Uh, and uh, it helps a person uh, to basically uh, uh, to overcome uh, difficulties in marriage also. So if a person has got a good finances, likelihood of uh, uh, his married life is going to be good. You do have a strong uh, and deep and clear heart line which, indi which is indicative of a person able to cope up uh, uh, the stresses in relationship because there are lots of stresses in relationship and few people are able to manage it and you would be able to manage it very well it is not purely just with the wife but in general relationship also you uh, can uh, you have a strong mind clear cut mind and strong mind as well as a deep and clear heart line so, so both are strong in themselves Although you are more of a headstrong person, when it comes to decisions, you always take uh, your basically more towards uh, uh, like very you take very practical and uh, uh, decisions. Uh, currently, I'm struggling to keep up with finances, and there and there's any wealth uh, related hurdle going away soon. I'm struggling to keep up with finances and. Is there any wealth related hurdles going away soon? Yes, I would say that hurdles were there somewhere at the age of 34 and it might extend to a little bit further also. But uh, I do see that uh, uh, likelihood of those hurdles might go away. We also find that a triangle kind of a formation is getting formed out here. So triangle uh, is considered to be good regarding properties. And as the triangle extend uh, till the age of uh, around the age of 40, so probably uh, those hurdles are likely to go away in your in your life. Uh, and as far as uh, uh, finances go, I've already told you the he the money line is extremely good during this particular period. Uh, it's not that the in, in the past it is not good. Uh, I would I wouldn't say that in the past it was bad, but in the future also it's going to become uh, good and uh, the sun line is also uh, becoming prominent so all these both these lines basically play a part in a success and uh, and uh, what we see is that the sun line which we are talking about uh, which starts from the mount of uh, which starts from the mount of moon moon is basically the area of uh, 
like money coming to you or uh, name and fame coming due to uh, your female partner or uh, uh, or working outside the country or through service industry or uh, trading activity all these areas are going to be extremely good for you uh, foreign associations or uh, help from females uh, is uh, that's going to come all throughout your life and uh, you should basically give more importance to the decisions uh, or uh, the suggestions which you get from females or foreigners uh, or mother or wife or daughter all these uh, or or sister uh, all these people are going to benefit you in your life to come will i be lucky and will i amass accumulate wealth property in uh, in my life this is your question yes uh, uh, i would say yes because uh, two three indications one is your technical expertise first uh, one needs to have some technical expertise strong sunline over the amount of uh, amount of sun uh, the hard line starting under the amount of uh, saturn uh, gives uh, uh, like uh, uh, success a small cross uh, this is also indicative of uh, good association and uh, success in whatever you do and uh, and also the area of uh, mount of venus uh, you see you have got these strong kind of lines which are going and striking towards the uh, towards the lifeline but none of them are like touching uh, touching it and uh, damaging it so again it, it is uh, uh, it is uh, it is considered that uh, problems are going to come but they wouldn't like uh, uh, harm you uh, harm you uh, even there's only one line that is going and uh, crossing so this could be the area of trouble again this line basically comes and vanishes before it touches the uh, touches the lifeline even this line so these lines are basically problem lines they could there could be a few problems stronger the line the stronger the problem weaker the line weaker the problem these are strong lines but uh, i wouldn't say that uh, they would affect you much uh, but at the same time uh, uh, we also find that you do not have a grill like formation like grill like criss crossing kind of lines over the amount of this is the amount of mars this is the amount of anger and this is the amount of energy see both these areas should be good if they are not good it would mean that the person uh, is la uh, is wasting his energies and uh, getting angry over wrong issue this is the area of anger this is the area of energy so uh, these also these are the areas where uh, if if we, if we don't find this area these areas to be good we automatically say that the person is likely not to be successful because they are wasting their energies so uh, uh, so this these areas are not disturbed so automatically the chances of success basically increase <coughs> uh, does my hand indicate good health and will i lead a happy li a healthy life uh, yes uh, as uh, we find that the venus is good and the mars is good these two planets are basically more indicative of uh, uh, of physical health and uh, for ment for mental and uh, emotional health this is for mental health uh, and these two are for mental health like uh, these two do not have any negative marking your heart is very strong which automatically means that uh, that you would be able to take emotional stresses your headline is strong which which means that uh, if any problems does come up in your life uh, however uh, big it might be because of your strong mind uh, you would be able to cope up and basically come out of that particular problem so all these it's a combination of of all the lines basically which uh, which gives us good health but at the same time we we do find that you do have a iron like formation uh, over this is your heart uh, this is your lifeline and we see island like formation out here island like formation is extended uh, period of trouble 
and this comes sometime uh, around the age of 65 approximately around the age of 65 that's the time you should be more careful i will just explain to you uh, by drawing a bigger island uh, this is your lifeline i'm just drawing it like uh, we, it's indicating out here but i'm drawing a, a bigger uh, island see what happens is that uh, this is the lifeline coming out at deep and distinct is good whenever the lifeline splits it basically means the origination of a problem the as it splits basically the line becomes wide this is the period of maximum trouble when it's maximum wide as it's tapering down it's basically ending of that particular problem and once it uh, merges into uh, like two line merges and become a single line that's the ending of the problem so it's a, uh, a generally it is said uh, people say that if we find uh, iron like kind of a formation or fish like formation it is considered to be good in my opinion it means that the problem is going to come but it's going to end so uh, in old age it is normally uh, seen that problems problems never end but seeing a problem ending is is considered to be uh, a good sign so uh, that is why people might be saying that having a fish like formation like this is considered to be uh, to be good uh, so uh, but i i would say that if a person has got deep and clear singular line it is considered to be much better than having this island like kind of a formation so uh, so you you would need to take care during uh, the age of 65 approximately that's when uh, problems could come but uh, but again i would say that due to the strong headline see even at at an old age uh, some people what what happens is that some people have the headline which uh, kind of uh, uh, which kind of and some people have like towards this is towards the end of life so what happens is some people have a headline like goes like this so what happens is that uh, when people have don't have a clear cut uh, deep uh, headline towards the end it means that the person is likely to uh, like jaise ek hota na ki dimag chal jana ya the head uh, is not intact during the old age in the but you do have a very strong headline which means even to the last breath of your life you there would be awareness and uh, you would know what things are going around you and it means that you are likely to be uh, you won't face any any such trouble uh, and uh, even if you do suffer in trouble you would have you would come out of it due to a strong mind so it's a good indication to have you need not worry uh, regarding that are you your next question is your seventh question are you the best promise to bring me out of my miseries so, see uh, i would say that i'm just sh showing you around what your palm is showing uh, i w i can't say what if i'm good or not it's you you have to judge and uh, and i i would say that uh, your hand is good and uh, you need not worry out of uh, about anything and uh, certainly you will be successful uh, and uh, it's not that in the past you might not have got success uh, you will get success in the uh, might have got success in the past in future it's going to be much better and uh, and uh, one more thing i just saw is that this is the li money line and this is the sun line kind of going like this and a square like formation is getting formed this could mean property and but this is happening before the age of 35 so uh, have, have there any been uh, uh, purchases of property or uh, uh, by you or somebody else in your name uh, next question is when is when it's expected to get position in uh, in a company despite working many years i don't feel settled uh, when is settle settlement expected uh, i i would say that uh, it's more likelihood that as time is progressing uh, 
the the sun line is this sun line is this sun line is becoming uh, prominent uh, and it's indicative of uh, indicative of success so after the age of 35 approximately we can say more success is going to come take bigger challenges because your hand is made up for uh, bigger challenges do you see any scope of business uh, yes because this technical expertise line is there uh, do you see any business scope uh, if so when it's happening it could happen sometime at the age of 44 this line becomes prominent is there any scope of le uh, living luxury and happy life and is there a scope of uh, living luxury and happy life in future if so then when it's expected to begin uh, I just uh, I'm just calculating your uh, date of birth uh, it comes to 4 plus 3 plus 1982 10 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19. any year adding up to 9 would be might have been important in your life so probably 2016 might have been really important uh, in your life so approximate age 1982 86 I would say 38th year could be the year when uh, when you make a better beginning and uh, betterment is likely to come during that particular year so uh, that's it for this particular reading if you like the video click on the like button and uh, do subscribe and uh, rest reading i would give you in the uh, phone conversation thank you